So we are going to practice a Qigong meditation from my school in Wudang that I learned from my master. So you can sit in a chair, that's fine. You want to just make sure that uh, your back is straight or you can sit in meditation position and I'm not picky about how you sit. I just suggest that you put some pillows like I have underneath your butt and that'll keep your back straighter because it'll tilt your hips a little bit. But being in a chair is fine as well. Now I'm going to suggest that we take our hands and we cup them and put the thumbs together so there's some nice circles and we're just going to put that underneath the belly button. And so we have a bunch of circles here now, circle with the hands, circle with the arms, right? And by putting it under the belly button like that, it'll open up your elbows and that keeps your back straighter. So I want you to start breathing with your belly. Feel your belly going in and out with your breath. That's pretty much meditating. It's breathing with the belly, emptying your mind. Now, of course, our mind never stops thinking. That's why a lot of people prefer guided meditations because the voice of the other person will occupy their mind. But even if you're being guided in meditation, it's possible that your mind is still going to wander. When it does, just bring your focus back to your breath and back to your belly. Don't engage with the thoughts. If a thought comes up of something you might want to buy at the grocery store, don't start making a mental list of all the groceries. Just let it go. I'm going to do with you today eight different exercises. It's a Qigong series and it's good for the kidneys. And the kidneys, they're the general manager of all the organs. So it's important that we take good care of them. I'm not going to explain why each exercise is good for the kidneys. I just want you to know that is our intention today with this Qigong series. Now you don't have to watch me. You can just listen to my voice. You can close your eyes. You can look at the spot on the floor and have your eyes softly open. Whatever's most comfortable. The first exercise is quite simple. You're basically going to clack your teeth together 24 times with your lips sealed. So let's begin. When you're done, we are going to do a thinking circle. Imagine that the energy is in your belly and you're going to guide it down to the perineum, just that point in between your legs where they meet. And then with your breath, you're going to guide it all the way up to the top of your head, to that point that connects with the universe. And then from there, Guide it down, back into the belly. So 
So now let's try that. So let's see. Just breathe in softly. And now as you breathe out, make the energy go down to the perineum. And now breathe in. Lift the energy all the way up to the top of your head. And now breathe out. Got it back down into the belly. And now just breathe normally. Feeling your stomach moving with each breath. If you can feel your stomach moving with each breath, then you are breathing with your diaphragm. which is the way you want to be breathing and not with your chest. The tongue should rest at the top of the mouth. The chin is slightly tucked so that the neck is straight. So the energy can flow up. Energy is always moving in circles. So even if you're not guiding the energy, that's still flowing, as long as you allow it freely to flow and nothing is blocking it. The next exercise is a bit, feels a bit funny. What you're going to do is you're going to roll your tongue over your teeth with your lips closed. And you're going to roll it one way, you can start counterclockwise, six times. And then you're going to roll it the other way six times. And you're going to do this three times on each side for a total of 36 times. When you're done, you will have collected saliva in your mouth. And you will swallow it in three parts. You ready? Now swallow three times. When you're done, do a thinking circle. Energy down to the perineum. Breathe in, guide it up to the top of your head. 
And then as you breathe out, let it flow back down into your belly. And now, focus on your belly breathing. Okay, for the next exercise, make sure to keep your back straight. Take your hands and put them behind your head, clasp them behind your head, and then bring your elbows together, hold in your stomach, and try to get your elbows together. Don't push on your head. Come up, breathe in. So your, your, the weight of your hands is just guiding your head forward without pushing on it and try to get your elbows together. We'll do this 12 times. Open, breathe in. Okay, take your hands up and push down. Now let's do a thinking circle with the hands. Open, guide the energy up, top of the head, and push it down. Again, the hands in the basket. I didn't really talk about which hand goes on the inside, which hand goes on the outside. Doesn't really matter. Although left is yin and right is yang, each one will create a different energy. Putting the left hand in the inside and the right hand on the outside or vice versa. Personally, as a woman, I leave my left hand on the inside and my right on the outside and perhaps men can put their right hand on the inside and their left hand on the outside. But it is whatever feels right for you vibrationally and then stick to it. You want to scan your body for posture corrections. Are your shoulders rising up? 
Are you starting to slump? Is your back straight? Are your elbows out? If at any time you feel uncomfortable or you feel any pain, feel free to move. Adjust your position to a more comfortable position. Some people have trouble staying like this for a long time because of their knees. The next exercise, I'm going to explain it first. You're going to take your two fingers and you're going to take the, the longest finger and flick. Okay, you're going to flick. Okay, good. Now, you're going to take your hands and put them over your ears, block the sound, and you're going to flick in the back of your head. And you're going to, it'll make a noise. You'll do that 24 times. When you're done, take your hands up and over, push down, and let's do one circle with the arms, thinking circle, guiding the energy up, top of the head, and pushing it down. And then back to meditating position. So I have read that tinnitus, which is a buzzing sound in your ear, is connected to um, the kidneys. So there's something about creating noise in your ears that's connected to the kidneys. Maybe we're sending signals down there, giving good vibrations through the ears. Breathe with your belly, do a posture check. Are you leaning forward? Are you slumping?
So the next exercise is the kidney rub. I teach that often in my Qigong classes, and this is where I get it from. So rub your hands together. Put them on your kidneys and circle 12 times. And now again, rub your hands together. And again, go the other way. Okay, hands up and over. And come down. And again. Meditation. Don't engage with your thoughts. Just let them pass through. For the next exercise, take your hands, clasp them together, facing down, soft and round. Turn to the left, breathe in, breathe out, come forward, turn to the right, breathe in. We'll do this 12 times. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Hands down. Let's sink the chi one time with the hands. And back into meditation. For this series, all repetitions can be either 12, 24, or 36. 
So you could have done that 12 times, 24 times, or 36 times. Next exercise, take your hands and put them facing each other, holding a ball. Come out around in a circle and then back in to the belly. So you're taking the energy from the belly, bringing it out, circling it around, and putting it back in. We'll do 12 times. Three. Find your breathing rhythm. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Now let's go the other way from the belly. Bring it up and out and then pull it in. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Bring it back into the belly. And now let's sink the chi one time with the hands. And back into the meditating posture.
Okay, for the next one, take your hands flat, come bring them up over your head, and then place one on top of the other. I personally put the left on the inside, and then push down. And then come up, breathe in, and then out. And what you're doing is you're energetically pushing the energy down through the middle vessel channel. Breathe in from the top of the head all the way down to the belly. Bring the hands down. And we're going to do that again. Bring them up. And push. And then up. Breathe in and out. And push. You don't have to push hard. It's an energetic exercise to push that energy down into the belly from the universe. And now again, one more time. Just pushing down, you're breathing out. And coming up, you're breathing in. Sink the chi. Back into meditation. All right, for the last exercise, this is a bit tricky now. I'll give you a little bit of a surprise. We need to get off the chair, sit on the floor, because we're going to touch our toes. So watch. On the floor, on the couch, however you can go, like you're this. Can you do that? Yeah? OK, because so you want to be able to Put your toes and stretch it all out at the end. And then come back and forward again. Touch wherever you can. If you can't touch your toes, hold your ankles. If you can't hold your ankles, hold your calves. And come back. And one more time. Okay. 
and come back. And now that is the last exercise. So now let's just sink the chi three times. Put the energy into the belly. And one more. Push it all down. And that is the April Cade Qigong sitting from Wudang, China.